Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Man, I am so hyped up. You know what? The NFC least, the NFC East, whatever you want to call it, the basement bitches, I don't care. You know what? As bad as our teams are, watching the Eagles versus the Giants game was insane. I hope, uh, I don't know how many of you guys joined in. Um, I think I'm getting low on gas because this has like a kind of a rotten egg smell when it gets low. So I think I'm getting ready to run out of gas. So this may go out before the video is over. But watching the Giants and the Eagles, it seemed like it was a long game. But you know what? It was evenly matched. It was crazy. You know, and, and, and doing what we did tonight was, to me, I thought it was epic. I don't know that anybody has done that before. I'm sure other people are going to start doing it. But seeing Cope Hizzle with his mouth and his attitude talking about he's going to be making babies tonight when they're up 21 to 10, not realizing that he's got Jason Garrett as an offensive coordinator and the ghost of Jason Garrett. You know, if it weren't for the Falcons, we would be known as the biggest choke artists out there. You know, we've given up games like we've been up with uh, Green Bay 26 to 3, and Matt Flynn came back against us. We've been up three touchdowns twice against the Lions, the Lions, and lost those. And so that was one of those ones that, yeah, I know it's four minutes left and they're down, you know, 21 to 10. Wow. To see. To see that in real time, the two of them, Cole Pizzle up there, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be making babies and everything else, right? And to see Philly 500 dejected, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. And then to see Evan Ingram miss what should have been pretty much the nail in the coffin, you know, the fourth down, and they don't make it. And now all of a sudden, they go down there, you know, after Deshaun Jackson ends up getting his leg jacked up. Um, you know, Philly 500, them coming back. And it, it, it was epic seeing how you had the highest of highs where Cole Pizzle is talking all that trash and Philly 500's down here are just seeing that reverse. And literally, Cole Pizzle said nothing. I mean, said nothing. And Philly 500 literally going crazy. I'm going to get, you know, it's, it's rendering, so I can't do anything with it right now. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to get, I'm just going to take that last, you know, few minutes of the game there so you can feel that raw emotion. That, that, was, that was incredible. And shout out to everybody who came in and watched that and uh, donated, liked, and commented and stuff. I appreciate that. You know, it, it, this is, for me, like a dream. I've talked about this for so long trying to get this together and you know trying to build a studio and, and to, this year as bad as our team is unfortunately I feel like we've taken a big step up to be able to do what we did tonight and put that together just felt great now we got to deal with the ramifications now of what happened tonight ultimately it would have been best for us had the Giants won then the Eagles would be one five and one but now they get that victory the Eagles are in first place that's right they're a half game in first place and if we win on Sunday we're in first place if we lose well then we are actually third place yeah so having somebody else take care of business for us that ain't gonna happen my daddy always said god best bless the child that's got his own as in you need to take care of your own stuff don't rely on somebody else giving you something so the cowboys having had all these issues and it's crazy because you know i've been on the road and i've been listening to sports talk 980 listening to Doc Walker, listening to this Washington team that is a dumpster fire in itself. But like I said, everybody in the division, we all in the same pot. Yeah, the Eagles got a win here tonight. But I saw Lane Johnson go back out. I saw Deshaun Jackson go back out. And I saw the Eagles struggling against a team that is really, really bad. 
you can't take for granted any of these things. It wouldn't surprise me to see the Washington team beat the Cowboys, and it wouldn't surprise me to see the Cowboys beat the Washington team. We're all that evenly matched at being inept. But this is an opportunity. You have 16 opportunities to prove that you belong. Whether it ends up being that we're five and six, five or six wins that win the division, hey, we did enough by the rules that are out there to make it. So, come Sunday, we got to take care of our own business. Try and get to three and four. Cam Irving is off of the COVID list, and he's going to be starting to tackle. Connor Williams said they haven't been practicing him at tackle. He's still a guard, which I think is good to keep him right where he is. Uh, I'm not sure that moving him to tackle is going to help us that much. Um, we know that Sean Lee has been practicing. We're hearing that Alden Smith was back in practicing, or at least doing some drills and some exercises and stuff on the sidelines in the section that was open to reporters. And uh, Van Der Esch made it through the game without any other issues. And, of course, this is, will be the debut of Randy Gregory. So maybe we're getting some reinforcements that will help us out for the game. And hopefully maybe somebody or two somebody's coming out and talking about the coaching. You know, you've heard Sean Lee. You've heard Jalen Smith and some other guys that have kind of come out and said, you know, we need to keep this stuff internal, that, you know, Mike McCarthy is a player's coach and stuff. Maybe this is a thing that will help to get the team together on the same page and start working together and, you know, somebody might be the rat and maybe they get rid of the rat. Or maybe this is the thing that says, man, we need to take this stuff. We need to fix this stuff. Because we've been in free fall. I'll be honest with you. And maybe this is where we pull the ripcord on the parachute and stop this free fall. Man, this was exciting tonight. Wow. And it's awful late, too. So I need to get my behind the bed. Been on the road all day. Hardly seen my beautiful wife. And I know she's in bed sleep. Whew. But it's nights like this that I realize all the work that went into trying to do this, all the thought behind it, the money and everything else was worth it because of the outcome. And it hasn't been easy, but I, what I've always learned is there's no shortcuts. There's no easy outs. And if you do something, don't look for the short, easy way to do it. Look for the way to do it properly. You know, don't half-ass it. If you're going to do something, and I don't care what it is, give it your full effort. Put everything you got into it, and I guarantee you, you'll succeed. That and never get up. All right, y'all. I am going to go to bed. I will see you first thing in the morning. Peace out.